My name is James Wormsley and I'm the course director for the Distance Learning Masters Forestry courses. This is a short film showcasing some of the highlights of the residential components of the MSC Forestry course as well as some useful thoughts and advice for potential applicants from some of our current students. Bangor University is one of very few universities to have its own botanic gardens, which we fondly know as Traborth. The gardens include an extensive woodland resource with a wide range of both native and exotic trees, perfect for practicing tree and woodland flora identification skills. Got my hands on the bark of the Douglas fir tree, or one of one of many Douglas fir trees at the gardens. Pseudosuga menziesii, but there's some very sheltered spots in Wales and England and Northern England and Scotland as well where we just don't know how tall this tree will grow. So if you're around in 100 years, maybe you'll find out. It's been a very good first year. The thing I've enjoyed about it the most um, is the speed of the course. I think if I'd had to cover that breadth of topics in a term as opposed to a year, I wouldn't have had any opportunity to do my additional reading. So when I found tangents of interest to me, I've had the opportunity to, to explore them because there's time available to do that and mental capacity available to do that. Um, but if you're rushing through this nature of a topic in, in two terms, rather than two years, just talking about the module components. And I think it's really tricky to do that. And you just have to focus on the core material. So that for me is a huge advantage of doing um, the masters by distance learning is the, the pace of it. Yeah, it's much more than about trees, much more than about timber. Um, we, uh, we learned that um, forestry actually is a, has a huge impact on people's lives around the world, um, our culture, our heritage. Um, and it's not so much the science of forestry, which for me was new, um, it's the, the social aspects of forestry and the pervasiveness of all of that. Um, I like that part of the course. One thing I would say is that you have to be a very motivated self-learner if you want to get a lot out of the course. You can plod through reasonably well enough, but if you really want to get a lot out of the material, you have to be prepared to, you know, to discipline yourself and, and make sure you're doing the reading each week, otherwise you'll fall behind and, and you won't get as much out of the course as you can. Um, but apart from that really, if you can do that, it's a, it's a really fantastic learning opportunity and I'd thoroughly recommend it. In terms of the course itself, um, like it's obviously spread over the three years, um, but it's, it's extremely in depth. It's very fast paced and very in depth and very it's, it's quite you know a lot to take on when you've got a full time job and everything else going to undertake sort of thing. But um, on the other hand, it's very beneficial and it's very you know very informative and you learn a lot and you get to meet you know learn a lot of other students on, on the, uh, when you're doing discussion forums on the internet. So you, you know, there's a lot of interaction with both the, the students and, and the lecturers themselves. Um, even though you are wherever you may be throughout either the, the United Kingdom or the world, um, you might feel a bit isolated in terms of you know you just get given a, a pack of information to read, but you are very much still in connection with Bangor University in terms of uh, the other lecturers and the lead lecturers on the, each individual module and also the other students themselves. And the modules individually uh, are fantastic. Obviously, they run separately, so you have one module at a time. Um, you also get to go out into the forest and you know appreciate what's being said and what's being taught to you, um, which is even more applicable to those who don't have past history in forestry and this is sort of like a career change sort of thing. It really gives you that chance to a, build up your knowledge, to conduct the exams, do the assignments and at the end of the year um, bring it all together. In terms of um, those of you thinking of applying and you're thinking about changing your careers, um, contact Bangor University and they're always willing to help in terms of you know what you've got and how whether that'll be beneficial and whether that'll get you into the master's course. Um, and in most cases, you know, if, if, that, if you're really interested and you're enthused and you've got a lot of history and a lot of um, you know, experience in, you know, in any sort of uh, outdoor work and you just want to go back in straight into forestry and that's what you're passionate about, um, they're always willing to help and to be honest, they're willing to help anybody that's sort of considering going down the forestry degree, whether you go to the distance learning master's programme or you start as a BSc full-time uh, full graduate, an undergrad student, you know, it would suit you best and they're very accommodating in that sense. In 
recent decades, forest policy across the United Kingdom and in many areas beyond the United Kingdom across Europe has been largely focused on the creation of new woodlands comprising native tree species in order to meet objectives important to society at large, including habitat creation, landscape enhancement and biodiversity benefits. But can such woodlands also deliver quality timber that our grandchildren might be able to benefit from in ways other than simply keeping warm? We were fortunate to visit a young plantation where the owners were very much focused on maximising the timber quality of each and every tree and were developing novel, high value markets for their products. We hope you've enjoyed this short film. We're proud to have been teaching forestry for more than 110 years at Bangor University and we're privileged to be involved with this fascinating discipline. If you think you'd like to study with us, please see our website for much more detailed information or send us an email or give us a phone call. We'd be delighted to help you with your forestry study aspirations.